Hey y'all, it's Haven. Thanks for joining me. Um, I have my June birch box here, and so I want to open that because I haven't peeked yet. And um, and then I have the card from May, the May birch box, and I have all the products, and I've used most of them. So I thought I'd give a little review. So let's start with the um, May birch box first. So. I have the little card, like I said, and um, the first thing is the Gilchrist and Soames Spa Therapy Body Lotion in Relaxing Sea Fennel. I have used every drop of this that I could get. I loved it. I mentioned I got the Gilchrist and Soames Spa Therapy Body Wash in something sea rack relaxing sea rack or something like that um a refreshing sea rack i think that was in the march birch box and i loved it and this is kind of like the partner to that it's got a different name um the scent has a different name but it's the same scent um and even though normally i just get drugstore body lotion and body wash i I ordered they had a set so i did order this that's how much i liked it it the smell is just everything that I like in a scent. Clean, slightly floral, soft, relaxing, and furthermore, the um, body wash and the lotion are moisturizing, which is really important to me as well. So loved that. Um, and it's really awesome because they turned me on to a new product that I have actually purchased, which I'm sure is the point of um, the subscription subscription boxes. Um, the next thing is the Nexus Color Assure. It was, you had a little container of um, primer, which you put on your hair prior to getting in the shower. And it was kind of like an oil, or that was the consist consistency. I can't talk today. <laughs> that was the consistency of it. It was a pre-wash pre primer. And then you had the Vibrancy Retention Shampoo and the Vibrancy Retention Conditioner. Um, I liked it. I, you know, I think that I would have I would have to use this for like a full to really be able to say whether it works, you know, which is the point of it is to um care for your hair color. I would I in my opinion, I would need to use it consistently. I would need to get my hair done and then only use this until my next hair appointment, which is about five to six weeks, and then compare it with Biolodge Color Protection, which I already use. So I can't say if it retained any um, color vibrancy because I only got, I barely got one use out of it because my hair is quite, <laughs> quite long and um, I could have gotten more than one use with the pre-wash primer, but I barely got enough for one use out of the shampoo and conditioner, and so I just got rid of the primer. I kind of figured, what was the point if I wasn't using it as a set? But I liked it. I mean, it made my hair feel shiny. It made it shiny, and it felt good after I used it, so I didn't dislike it, but I have no idea if it does what it's supposed to do. They should have definitely given bigger sample sizes. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm taking a really long time today. I'm really talkative. Um, the next thing is the um, Pixie Shea Butter Lip Balm in Coral Crush. I am wearing it today topped with a gloss. Um, I don't have any light coming in in front of me, so it's kind of hard to see, um, really kind of see my makeup when I'm doing these videos. But I liked this. I, to be honest with you, today's the first time I've used it. I, balms are not my preferred. I'd rather have a lipstick or a lip gloss. Uh, these are just a little too sheer. They run a little bit too much, you know. Um, but I did want to use it before I talked about it. I like the color. Um, and I'm glad I have it. I, pro I would not purchase it, though. But, I mean, I will use it uh, from time to time. Um, also, with the balm, because they are a little looser and they tend to kind of go out of the lines and everything, I prefer lighter colors. You know, this is quite, like I said, it's not coming off. And I did put, like, a nude gloss on top of it. and So it's not coming off as bright as it really is. But, you know, I mean, that definitely, if it goes outside the lines of your lip, you know, when you... Rub, just rubbing your lips and things like that, it's it's pretty noticeable. And the last thing is the Wish Shaving Cream. I used this about three times just to try it out. I don't use shaving cream. 
um, because the razor blades I have are moisturizing. I really didn't like this. I thought it smelled like marshmallow when I first sniffed it, but when you actually use it, I think it's because the scent is um, a sai grapefruit. It has that citrusy scent, but it also has this like marshmallow scent and it almost smells rotten like rotten fruit and then I just I just didn't care for it so I'm gonna throw it away there's still about half a tube left but I'm just gonna throw it away after this video um, and then the last thing was the 32 oral care they were like they're like breath mint pop rocks and they were fine um, that is not what I would keep in my purse or you know keep in my car for fresh breath just because I don't think they work any better than like chewing gum or a breath mint um, and it's just kind of weird because they, they tell you to swish them around your teeth, rub them against your teeth and on the side of your gums and it's popping like just like a pop rock so <laughs> you know it's just kind of it was fun to try but I wouldn't I wouldn't buy but anyways that was the um, May birch box and overall I did love it because I loved the lotion um, this is nice. I, I wasn't disappointed, you know, so, okay, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I have the June birch box, and I opened the packaging box, but I haven't opened the new one, so here we go. I always tear the box up when I'm opening it with the scissors. <laughs> okay, I can already see orange is the theme this month. And it says, away we go, dust off your carry-on. It's the season for road tripping, destination hopping, and of course, staycationing. That's why we're bringing you travel-ready samples, on-the-go inspiration, and much more. It's only appropriate this month that we're kicking off our partnership with JetBlue. We've created exclusive amenity kits for their new Mint experience, and now you can find us and our samples 35,000 feet in the air. Closer to ground, we've included a fun travel quiz in your box. Take it and share for a chance to win your own getaway. Okay, neat. <laughs> um, and like I said, it's kind of orange themed this month. And you open it up and here we go. Or away we go as it says, <laughs> as the box is themed. You know, I really like this kind of periwinkle and orange together outfit in inspiration. Okay, here we go. So the first thing is um, Kula. I think I'm saying that right. Kula Tinted Matte SPF 30 for face. Here it is. And it says Mineral Sunscreen, mineral-based tinted moisturizer with lasting sun protection and a shine-free finish. And the full size is $36. I have some super goop that I got in, I don't know if it was birch box or glossy box for March that I'm still using, but um, I will. I just want to see what shade this is in. So it is tinted, but you can kind of see right there where I did it. It kind of just, and it feels kind of silicone based actually, like a um, face primer. Um, but it blends right in and it's it's going to be a good match. So I'm really excited about this. I will let you guys know next month what I thought about it. Okay, the next thing is Gilchrist and Soames, which same company as this, um, body lotion. And it's London Collection Body Lotion, full size is $16. Antioxidant rich moisturizer that smooths and softens with botanicals like grapeseed. Well, I just ordered some in a different scent, but... This smells good too. This doesn't really smell scented. It, it's not unscented, but it's just a very light scent. So I know I like this brand or this company and I'm excited to use that. Uh, the next thing is, oh, I don't know how to say this. Is it Joy or Joey? It's, it's perfume and it's in French and it's a fresh blend of mandarin, rose, and sandalwood that evokes a carefree summertime vibe. Uh, full size is $19. I, maybe it's Joy. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. And I think it's in this little box. Hmm. Yes, this is it. So it was in this little package. Open it up. And you get kind of just your traditional perfume um, sample size. I just so happen to not 
have perfume on yet today. Mmm, this smells like something. This is okay. It's okay, it smells like a perfume I used to have and it almost smells like Stella by Stella McCartney, which I like. Um, so I'll use that some more and see how it, you know, reacts with my body and if the scent changes any and I'll let you know. Um, but it smells good. It smells like rose to me. Um, and then I have number four hair hydrating shampoo. A full size is $34. Sulfate free cleanser rich in botanicals and vitamins that repairs and protects dry, brittle hair. It doesn't say anything, um... And then a bonus, we added this in hydrating condition for the ultimate in nourishment, full size $36. And the shampoo is $34 if I didn't say that. So here's the shampoo. And here is the conditioner. So this was like the bonus item. And then this is the shampoo. Um, it doesn't say anything about if it's color protecting. So perhaps what I will do is use it at the end of my hair cycle. Like, um once my color is faded anyway, you know, right before my next appointment. So that's probably when I'll try this out. I can't smell any. This, the, um, the lip balm has like a vanilla scent and then rose from the perfume. So I cannot tell you if this smells like anything, but I'll try it out and let you know. And then, um, the last thing is Vasanti or Vasanti Cosmetics Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator, full size $34. This customer fave mimics effects of microdermabrasion for a glowing smooth complexion. Full size is $34. And here it is. So I will try this out too. It's, you know, dramatically improve your skin's texture to reveal softer, brighter, and younger looking skin. And you just wet face, massage all over in a circular motion, rinse clean, use three to five times a week. Okay, well, that is it as far as products. Um, This was a nice little box. It didn't, like, nothing, I'm not super excited to try anything. Um, This, I don't think this perfume is going to be for me. Um, I am excited to try the these two things, the, the body lotion and the um, tinted moisturizer. Um, but this was an okay box. And then it has um, something about benefit and birch box and then this is the quiz so you know what I think I'll do I think I will just do the quiz here right now um okay so the first question is when I wake up and look out the window I want to see and a a sleepy river rolling hills and a sunset in the distance B a mix of town and country buildings and green space C, a city that never sleeps. D, craggy cliffs, crashing waves, and a lighthouse. Or E, the ocean, preferably with no fog, but I'll take it either way. I live at the beach, so I'm going to eliminate E, which was the ocean. Also, I'm going to eliminate the number D, like craggy cliffs. Um, also, I'm going to eliminate C. I do like the city, but um, I would say B, a mix of town and country, buildings and green space. Two, your ideal summer meal is A, smoky barbecue and a microbrew, B, deep dish pizza done right, C, why do I have to pick just one cuisine, I want it all, D, a lobster roll and chips eaten dockside, or E, farmer's market salad and homemade soda, C, why do I have to pick just one. Number three, you'll never pass up A, live music or shopping for vintage vinyl, B, a guided architectural tour. C, museum touring, perhaps followed by a Broadway matinee. D, any seaside adventure. Or E, picnicking, kite flying, cycling if it's outdoors, I'm game. E, picnicking, kite flying, cycling if it's outdoors, I'm game. I'd like to be outside. Um, number four, my idea of the ultimate gift is either A, tickets to a music and food festival. B, a spot in an amateur improv workshop. C, bespoke luggage. D, a day trip on a wooden sailboat. Or E, a guided tour of Pixar or the next Apple gadget. Um, either A or C, the luggage or the tickets to a m music and food festival. And then, um, number five is, it's movie night. Your flick of choice is A, Dazed and Confused, B, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, C, When Harry Met, Sa Met Sally, D, The Cider House Rules, or E, Mrs. Doubtfire. Definitely A. I love Dazed and Confused. Love, love, love. 
Number six, your preferred poison is either A, growlers, taps, cans, and bottles, B, anything in the pop category, C, made with a hard shake and finished with a swizzle stick, D, toss up between a gin and tonic or a dark and stormy, or E, juicy and full-bodied. Either E, juicy and full-bodied, or C, made with a um, hard shake and finished with a swizzle stick, or even D, toss up between gin and tonic or dark and stormy. Um, and then it tells you what city you would, um, you should go visit, depending on your answers, but I didn't really keep track. But anyways, I just thought I would do it. Now you know a little bit more about my <laughs> um, travel preferences, if you care to know. Um, thank you so much for watching. I feel like I was very rambly today, and I apologize about that. But I haven't made a video in a while, so I guess I was just kind of missing out on talking to y'all. Um, I hope you have a great day. Please feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye!